Loading buttons. We need them in every project. We submit the form, it takes a while to finish, so we need to display a spinner or something as feedback that says, hey, I'm working, give me a second to complete. So in this video, we'll take a look over how we can make a super simple, clean loading button that when active, shows a spinner in the middle of it. The first thing I'm going to do is style the button. I'll remove this and do px4 py2 for padding, text sm, font medium, rounded, and then text white, bg, let's say rosé 600, and then on hover, we'll do bg rosé 600, but we'll reduce the opacity to 80. And here it is, let's hover it, that looks nice. Next up, we need to add the SVG icon. I'll paste that in and style it using class with 5, h5, text white. To add the spinning animation, we can do animate, spin. And here it is. Now what I want to do is position the spinner directly in the middle of the button. One way to do that is to set its position to absolute and then push it to the right half of the way. So we'll do left, one divided by two. However, this is a bit too much. It's not exactly in the middle. We need to drag it back to the left a bit and that bit is equal to half of the spinner's width. So if our width is 5, we'll need a negative margin of 2.5. So minus ML 2.5. And here it is, the spinner is now directly in the middle of the button. Now all we need to do is hide the text and show the spinner when the button is loading. So let's add the reactive value for that. I'll go here and say script and I'll add the setup attribute and then const is loading equals ref and I'll set the default value to true. I'll import ref from view and then on the spinner we'll do vshow if is loading and for the label we'll wrap this within a span and do the reverse so vshow not loading. Now, hiding the text broke our button. That's because if I open the inspector and select the label, we'll see that vshow, if set to false, will translate to display none. What we should do instead is change its visibility property. So let's use the reactive value to set the invisible tailwind class. So I'll grab this and say class equals object invisible when is loading. Let's refresh and here it is. Next up, let's toggle the is loading value and then at the end, we'll extract this into its own component. The first thing I'm going to do is set the default is loading value to false and then add the form submit listener with the prevent modifier and call an onSubmit method. Let's add the method. And here we'll set the isLoading value to false, to true. And then to simulate an access request or something, we'll just use setTimeout. And we'll do isLoading value equals false after one second. So once the form is submitted, this method will be called, which will set the is loading value to true, and then we'll set it back to false after one second. Let's refresh, click the button, and here it is. Now let's extract the button into its own component. I'll grab this whole thing, and I already have a loading button.view file. Here we'll do template, paste in the code, and now is loading will be received as a prop. So let's add script, setup, and then define props. We'll have is loading, which will be of type boolean, and the default will be false. Now back to our page with loading button component, we'll need to import the loading button. And then we'll need to use it here. 
and set is loading to is loading. And we'll need to make this dynamic. To refresh, click on the button, and here it is. Next up, I want to be able to change the button label. So here we'll do slot, and then here we'll add the label. So we can change this to save changes. And there we go. Another thing I want to do is I might want this button to come in different colors. Currently, if I set BG black, the background doesn't change. So what I like to do is go inside the component and grab all the classes that I might want to change. For example, the padding will stay the same, the font size and the thickness will stay the same, it will still be rounded, but the text color, the background and the hover might be different. So I'll remove this and paste them here. And now what I can do is create a duplicate of this button and change the background. Save, and here they are. We have two different colors. If I click one, the spinner is weirdly positioned. That's because I forgot to add relative to this button, because I want the absolute element to be positioned in relation to its parent. So I'll add relative, save, refresh, and here they are. And that's it. That's how you can create a loading button using Vue.js and Tailwind CSS. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Code snippets are in the description. Bye.